Hey everyone, Chad Allen here and welcome to Firechild Video. I've got a quick tip for you today, just something uh, that I noticed when I downloaded the Blender 2.5 beta release, the first official beta release that recently came out. Um, one of the first things I noticed when I was playing around with it and, and noticing all the additions and the bug fixes and the really cool stuff that's available, the one thing I noticed that wasn't there, or at least didn't seem to be there, was our indirect lighting setup. Right now I'm in... Uh, the, the alpha build and if you've I'm, I'm sure we've seen the indirect lighting tutorials and I'm hopefully you've played around with it because it's a great feature we had in our world tab we had our ambient occlusion our environment lighting and our indirect lighting setup now if we bounce over let me just close that into our 2.5 beta release you'll notice there's no there's no uh, indirect lighting setup um, or is there? <laughs> Let's go ahead. I'm not, I'm not going to go into too much detail here. This is just supposed to be a quick tip. So what we have here is we have a cube sitting on a plane and no light in the scene, just like you would do with an indirect lighting setup. And what we need to do now is we need to set up some uh, materials. Let's go into edit mode. I've got my interior faces selected here. And I'm going to call those, because those are the ones I want to glow. I'm going to call them glow. This is all stuff covered in, in many other tutorials online. Just Google indirect lighting and Blender 2.5. You'll find a, a zillion tutorials, so I'm not going to go too in-depth. We'll go ahead and set the color. You know what? Let's change it. Let's do that. Any color you want. Just pick one at random. And let's give it an emit value. So it emits something and hit assign. Then we're going to hit control I to select all the other faces. We're going to add a new material. We're going to call it base. And we're gonna go here and change the color you know, back to a grayish, light grayish, maybe even a dark, darker gray. Why not? Uh, we're gonna turn off the emit because we don't want it to emit anything. And you know, just for you know, why not? Uh, to give it a little mirror. And then in the world tab, in the normal indirect lighting method, you would just bounce into the world tab and you would activate indirect lighting. But it's not there. What happened to it? Well, indirect lighting doesn't quite work with the ray trace function under gather here. So it wasn't, in the previous one, it would still be there, but you really wouldn't be able to use it unless you changed over to approximate. In the 2.5 beta, they've made it to where if you can't use it, it's not visible. So we switch over to approximate, watch what happens. Bam, there it is, indirect lighting. Now, of course, if we render right now, you're just going to get this crazy thing. As a matter of fact, I forgot to do something. So let's go back to the material tab, select our base layer, and I forgot to click assign. If you don't click assign, it's not going to assign the material. So important to know. OK, so in ray trace, all you have to do is hit approximate. There it is turn it on, you know, and then everything else about the indirect lighting works the same as it did in the alpha build. You know, we'll give it a couple of, of passes, we'll give it a fall off of, you know, let's say 0.3 or so. You can play around with those settings. And now if we render, our indirect lighting is back, it's working, it's fantastic, and, uh, you know, no need to panic. So, now you know, in the beta, you still have indirect lighting, uh, you don't have to regress back to the alpha. Just a quick tip to help you in your blending. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Check out some of the other tutorials we have on the website. Some great, great stuff out there. Um, I'd love to hear any suggestions you guys have for uh, upcoming tutorials. I've, I've got a lot on my plate, and I want to keep you guys in the loop. Blending with a noob is going to be making a return now that the Blender 2.5 beta is out. I figured now's a good time to restart blending with a noob. So you heard it here first. Uh, coming soon, as soon as I finish a couple other things, we'll get back to blending with a noob, and we'll have some exciting new content. Remember to tell your friends, visit this page often, and um, you know your support is what makes this possible, guys. So thanks for watching. Go out and happy blending.